everyone! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! Happy Halloween! And I'm coming back with the saga of Little Pony. And what the best? Twilight! She is the central main character of my little pony, Friendship is Magic. She's a female unicorn pony who transforms into Alicorn and becomes a princess in magical mystery cure. At the beginning of the series, she and Spike, her best friend and assistant, move from Canterlot to Golden Oak Library in Ponyville to study the magic of friendship. And in Twilight's Kingdom, Part 2, she gains her own castle, the Castle of Friendship, and gains the title of Princess of Friendship. Twilight Sparkle represents the element of magic, and nothing more than that for Halloween. I'm gonna use Twyla from Monster High. I choose her because of her color scheme, and because I need a clean face to work, I have to remove her hair out, cutting him really short. Using my heat gun, I will take the head out of the body and with a screwdriver, I will scratch the hair from inside and pull it out from the neck hole. With 100% acetone, I will take the factory makeup. I'm gonna use these ears from Claudine Wolf and I wanna attach them with some pins. For that, I'm gonna use my UV resin, I'm gonna put the pin inside and cure it under the lamp for 90 seconds and now I can attach the ears into her head. Mixing my white acryl and purple acryl paint, I'll try to get the match of the color that, by the way, it didn't work, but I will go there with some soft pastels. To clean the body I use nail polish remover without acetone is really important because it's plastic and it's gonna melt it. She have decoration in her legs that I don't want it. I will take them out and then I will sand the body with my nail buffers. With my mask, my Mr. Super Clear, my soft pastels Rembrandt and my watercolor pencils, I start the face. I start with three layers of Mr. Super Clear and the light pencil, so if I made a mistake, it's easy to erase. When I'm happy with the shape of it, then I can use the dark colors and to get the opacity that I wanted. Every time that the pencils don't work the way you want it, then it's time to give her a new layer of Mr. Super Clear and let it dry. You can find all of my material in the description box below. And you know guys, I realized that she had four years. I forgot to take him out, so we're gonna stop for a little bit and I have to cut the ears off and of course I also have a box with pieces of dolls. I will sand it with my Dremel and then I continue my face up. How was your Halloween? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear your comments. 
They are so sweet and your support is amazing. I love you guys, really. We are an amazing community. My Halloween was at home working on my twilight to give you this final Halloween present. With my metallic purple resin pigment, I'll give it some sparkly, some shiny, bling bling. And look how shiny she is. I love it. Now I'm sketching the bottom eyelashes. Don't be hard on me, please. I'm trying my best. I give it some black pastel to make the shadow and I give it more highlights but this time with the white metallic pigment it's never too much. And now with my water acryl I give it the final touches and also the highlights. And now I'm gonna seal all of my work with a final layer of Mr. Super Clear and let it dry for 30 minutes. And her face up is ready. Please don't forget to put a like on my work and leave your comments. To be able to continue to do what I love. With this 100% acryl yarn, pink color and dark purple, I'm gonna make some webs. Everyone knows I use a, a pet brush and then a hair straightener and then you get this. I'm gonna give her a ponytail, a big ponytail, and I'm gonna glue it around the acryl yarn with the hot glue. Till and after burning my fingers with my stupidity, I get beautiful ponytails. Now it's time to her hair. I'm going to glue it directly on the head with hot glue, the rest of the yarn. I've been watching the amazing videos of Halloween of our community. Oh God, the collaboration with Moonlight, delightful Kiro's workshop, Anastasia, etc., Etlan. It was amazing dolls. I was so happy to see it. Now I'm cutting her hair really slowly, give it the shape that I wanted. I'm using a toothbrush, water, a little scissor and also a little bit of Mod Podge. Fix the yarn the way I want it.
And now I'm gonna attach the two ponies in the back side and I'm gonna grab everything together. And I will continue really slowly giving the shape to her head. Here I'm using the Mod Podge because when he dry it's become flexible and you cannot see him so it's perfect for this kind of job. I will finish her hair with a crown that I'm gonna let you see later in the video how I did it. With some leftovers of Warbler and my heat gun, I'm gonna make them warm. Warbler, when it's hot, she becomes really flexible. You can do almost everything with her. It's really easy to use, I love it. I'm gonna make her horn. Twisting around like this. And I'm gonna attach it to the hair with a pin. And Warbler, when it's warm, she's flexible. And when she gets cold, she becomes hard like plastic. After she cooled down, I paint it in purple. I give it a layer of purple metallic resin to make her shiny. Now I'm gonna let you see how I make the crown. I'm gonna use this uh, accessories of Monster High. I have a box full of them. I think all customizers have a box full of accessories. With my heat gun in this plastic necklace in Monster High, I'm gonna eat him up and he becomes flexible with the heart and then I can open it. I paint it with gold acryl and I'll finish him with the gold powder. I was so happy to find a pink star in the middle of my thousand crystals. Yes, I have a fetish with crystals. I have boxes and boxes and boxes of crystals and I like to separate them all and put them all in colors and everyone in the house gets crazy. <laughs> I found this little purse in the internet so I had to print it and paint it for her. I'm gonna use the same colors, pink, purple, black, and I will finish everything with glossy varnish. And yes, I also attach a little pink star. It's not quite the same as the other one, but it works. With the leftover of the book of that, I still don't understand that book. Uh, it's really complicated for me. I end up with a thousand pieces of uh, 3D printing uh, resin, but it's okay, I'm using it now. And with uh, some fake leather in brown color, I'm gonna glue it with super glue, and I'm gonna make her book, because she's studying how to become a princess. I could make a book with a with a paper and everything. I already done one, but really I I'm, I'm not in the mood to spend a lot of time, so I'm doing easily. I will attach this metal photo list and this decoration of unicorn and I'll give her a finish of dry brush with some black acryl and with some gold powder. For the shoes, I'm gonna use these boots from Frankie. 
I have to give her a layer of white gesso, other way the pink doesn't pop out. It gets really dark and I give her also the three colors, pink, purple and black. For the skirt, I'm gonna use this purple jersey fabric. I want to give her like a uh, school uniform. I will show you step by step. I printed a pattern of Little Pony so that I can transfer to the fabric like this. Finish her with snap button. For the top, I'm gonna recycle this one, black leather. I have a lot of clothes from Monster High, so when I want something that I have similar, I'm not gonna waste some fabric and time. I, I will just recycle it. And I'm gonna use some fabric glue and let it dry for the night. I give her knee socks, how they use in school. Instead of uh, painting the lines in the socks, I'm gonna embroider it with a white embroidery line. I think it's make it more personal, giving her a little bit more of love. I also make her panties with black lace and now it's time to dress her up. I paint her hands with the dark purple metallic and I also transfer the pony pattern to this ribbon. paint her nails in pink color and I give it some bracelets in the gold color. It's time to attach the head to the body. I'm gonna use some fake human eyelashes. I know they're special eyelashes for dolls but I'm using these ones and they work really perfect for me. finish her face with my varnish glossy. I'm gonna gloss her lips and the tear line. And our twilight is ready. I love her. I hope you love her too. Thanks for walking with me in my journey. Thanks for watching my videos and for all of support. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Please click the bell button. I'm sure you don't want to lose the next video. And if you want to help me directly, you can always buy me a coffee. There is in the link below in my link tree. You just click there. We drink a coffee together and maybe we can talk a little bit. For now, I'm going to work in my next project. And I see you in my next video. Bye.